by the dip. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. In this video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol PLTR Palantir. So this is a technology company that specializes in big data analytics. They provide different um, services, different um, solutions for analyzing, just as a matter of fact, crunching out big data to provide information for their customers. So I've actually covered Palantir here and also went in depth and really showed you what the company does and why from the get go, when they were IPOing, I said I was gonna buy the company. But again, we've got some opportunities here where there's a dip in the company. And so I want you guys to take advantage of that dip. If you don't have Palantir, this might be a great opportunity for you to get in. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So again, I mentioned Palantir here. Like I said, I've already given you guys uh, a video where I actually go in depth as to what the company does and their fundamentals. Um, in this video, I just want to go uh, give you guys the reason why I think this is a good opportunity to get into the stack. So uh, if we can go to the chart here and look at Palantir, see what's going on here. Uh, you can see the stock has actually dropped. So if we go back a week here, um, so this stock was actually trading at over $33 and then kind of pulled back down now sitting at uh, the $20, $25 price point. So the reason this happened is one, their earnings report came out. We can pull this up from CNBC. So the earnings report came out. As you can see, they actually beat their expectations, but they lost about eight cents per share. So that kind of pushed the stock down a little bit, not as much. If you can see, uh, fundamentals look great. Revenue was three hundred and twenty-two million versus three hundred and three hundred point seven million expected. So they actually beat that, which is awesome. Again, like I said, they lost that eight cents per share, which is not uh, terrible. One key thing that I want to point out here is that Palantir actually says they're expecting about four billion in revenue by twenty twenty-five. So they see the growth potential here, and they are matching towards that. So. Uh, one of the reasons why this company's stock actually fell, guys, uh, make sure I bring this up to you, is the fact that they actually um, unlock all their stocks because when they initially went public, not all the stocks were tradable. Uh, you have institutional uh, investors or pipe investors that are were not allowed to sell their shares just because if they did, their their stock would have been very, very volatile. So they actually held those and then they're slowly releasing them. So right now, all the shares got unlocked. So a lot of people sold and took some profit. Some people that didn't want to continue holding the stock actually sold and took some profit. And during that selling, you see the price of the stock drop. So those are the two things that brought the stock from 33 down to 25, which is a great entry point. And they're one of their main uh, investors from the very beginning because this company has been private for a very long time. I, I think George Soros, he says back, he started investing in the company back in 2012 and owns about 18.46 million shares. But right now he plans to sell everything and leave the company. Why? Because of ethical reasons. So not because of the fundamentals of the company, but because of ethical reasons. And my understanding and doing some research is that because the company works with the military, the company works with immigration enforcement. These uh, Joe Soro doesn't like that. I think he's like kind of like a free or open border kind of person. And so he doesn't like the fact that they're providing their services, their software for uh, immigration enforcement. So again, that's me looking at, you know, just reading and, and coming up with that conclusion. So again, from me, I don't have any specific uh, source to back that. So, guys, I want to now take you to the chart. So, again, let's go back here. So, again, like I said, this is a very, very um, you know, good opportunity to get into Palantir. Uh, this drop down to 25. To me, guys, this is a very, if you can start opening a position right here, this is a very good uh, place to start. And even if you get in here, if you're swing trading, this will be a good place. You always buy the dip. 
and then swing this thing, maybe get it back up to 30 and take some profit. If you want to hold long term, then this is a no brainer. At this $25 price point, definitely jump in and pick up some shares because I don't think this thing is going to come back to 25 um, again for a long time. So definitely an opportunity for us to jump in and, and make some profit. So yeah, let me know in the comment section again, guys. Uh, Palantir, one of our you know, main companies out there that specializes in big data analytics for all different industries. Um, and then have, they have a ton of contracts with um, you know, the government, the military, like we, we saw there. And then if you can see here, the company has been really making some move. You have a ton of partnerships, a, a ton of contracts that they've signed uh, for 2021 already. And this is just the beginning. We're still in March and the company is really doing some really good things as far as signing contracts. You, as you can see, like I pointed out earlier, they are uh, estimating their revenue to be $4 billion by 2025. That is huge. So, in, I mean, I have faith in the company long term, guys. Again, this is a long term play because if you look at companies that services, the government services, the military, once once they start moving, they move. So you look at companies like Boeing, uh, Radeon. Those are companies that would give you a good returns because the government doesn't mess around when it comes to spending money. They spend money when they need to. So. That's it for this video. Again, let me know in the comment section if you do have any questions. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you guys, smash that like button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo is doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, do your homework. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.